What's up guys, my name is Aparapik and welcome to Tech Tutorial. This tutorial is on how to build a very 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 efficient nuclear reactor using equivalent exchange as, as well as industrial craft. This is the most efficient nuclear reactor you can build that is safe, 100% safe, it cannot blow up. Now, it's also 100% and um, it doesn't kind of stop and then it re recools, it uses the uranium steadily uh, throughout their, their whole like lifetime, uh, life their whole use time, and you get what you get what I'm saying. Uh, what you need is the following: you need the nuclear reactor itse uh, itself. This is crafted from two reactor chambers. Uh, you re you need six reactor chambers for the the build itself. This one uh, you can see right here. Uh, and you need two other, uh, two more to build the gener uh, the reactor itself. Now to build this one, you need two advanced uh, circuits, which is like this. You, know, you probably know how to make those. You need a generator and some advanced alloys. You also need those are kind of sta uh, ordinary things to make on your techeter. You can check it out easily. Uh, a reactor chamber is made from integrated heat uh, reactor plating, integrated heat dispersers, a machine block and as, as well as advanced alloys. So there's many uh, advanced alloys being used in this. In the integrated heat disper uh, disperser this is what's coolant cells and copper. And it uses integrated reactor plating which is an advanced alloy surrounding copper. So it uses a lot of advanced alloy. Now you need uh, Eight. You need to make eight of these. Use two in the crafting pr uh, process of the ch uh, reactor, and then you got the full set. Um, what more to say about that? Nothing. So, for extra safety, I I have got a ter thermal monitor. It's very easy to make. Uh, very easy. You need uh, reinforced glass and advanced circuit and redstone. The reinforced glass is just two alloy, uh, two advanced alloys and some glass. So that's that's that. Now, and you need, uh, for the safety system, you need some redstone and a redstone repeater. That's it. It's very simple. Now, for the cooling, we don't use no heat dispersers, no uh, coolant cells, which is a pain in the ass to make by themselves. So you save a lot of resources and time by doing this version as well. You need some ice, which you can get easily by compressing snowballs. So it can be uh, obtained legitimately uh, in TechIt. And you need some pneumatic tubes, uh, an energy collector, uh, three energy collectors, Mark One or One Mark Two, uh, is basically what you need. Otherwise, you don't need more than that because it gets kind of the um, the energy condenser gets filled up too quickly, and you can't handle it. But that's why you make one of those. You need to make it's it's kind of quite costly to do, but it's a great thing to have. You need a filter which you make from a piston, gold ingots, and some red up wafer. Red up wafer you make like this. You know how to do it, or you can figure out how to do it. Anyways, um, and that's what you need for the cooling. You need a timer as well, by the way. Timer is very important, and that's how you do it. You'll have to read it out yourself. It's a timer. You also need a high voltage transformer to transfer uh, to transform the electricity from the extreme voltage to the high voltage. And you need glass fiber cable, depend how much I don't know, depending on how long you want to run the cable. And you need some kind of storage storage units or a mass fabricator. I would recommend using a mass fabricator actually because, um, or I'm not gonna recommend it. But if you want the power, you have to pump it into an MFSU. But if you want to power an, a mass fabricator, pump the electricity directly from the reactor to the to the mass fabricator because it loses power while going through the MFSU or it doesn't lose lose power but it gets less efficient. So let's get started with the build shall we? You know that's not much you need you need one uh, dirt block to uh, raise up the reactor chamber one. So that's kinda hovering in the air. And then you need to place one reactor chamber on each of these sides. So on top as well. Now this is a reactor chamber. This get kind of gets bigger with every. I'm gonna remove this one. As you can see, it's this big. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by that. I don't think that changes actually. And if you place that one on, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine instead. So it gets bigger. And uh, also, you need these to have the setup that I have. Now, what you want to do next is you want to install the safety system, which is very easily 
done by shift. You have to press shift to be able to place on things you normally can right click on. Press shift, put it down, leave it to five, or actually don't leave it to 500. Get some redstone, drag around like this. Now why this is using my, um, is because I'm having my flying ring. So now I'll place this one down, the repeater, no delay, nothing, just straight into the reactor. Now I would recommend, this is supposed to be at 500, but for now, while I'm not using the reactor, I'm going to put it down to zero, so it's always activated. Now what you want to do, is you want to grab some pneumatic tubes. You can feed it out this side, but I'm not going to do that, I'm actually going to, I'm going to do that now. Now you only have to do it this much. But I would recommend doing it a bit further away so you can have some kind of protective wall. I'm not sure why I would use that because it is 100% safe. But it's for decorati uh, decorative purposes, I guess. I like to have much protection around it because it looks more real. Now what you want to do is you want to place down the filter. Make sure it's not facing like that. Now I have to get a screwdriver. So you want to have it facing like that so the hole I, I'm not sure how it looks in other texture packs but the hole there is always one hole uh, would be facing the uh, pneumatic tubes I just placed now place down the energy condenser and now place down these ones the energy collectors now this will start producing EMZ right, right away so I would recommend placing one ice block in and um, so you get the uh, you don't waste no, no uh, EMC just standing here and you can have some ice ready when it starts when you want to start the system up now what you want to do is in the filter place down 32 uh, uh, half a stack of ice now place down like two redstone a timer have the timer ready do not place it out yet because when we want to start it uh, we'll have to uh, place the timer down now what we want to do is you want to get a lot of uranium cells of course you need the uranium cells I'm sorry for not saying that but you need one hell load of it I think it's let's see how many I put in 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 20, uh, 5 26 27 28 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, uh, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Just put these ones in. 46, 47. I'm not sure that's correct. Probably is. is probably is. Um, and then you want to. This is how the setup you want. You want to leave seven blocks uh, spaces empty. You can have it like this. Just leave seven spaces empty. It looks better if you have it like this, though. And it gets more. You, you can get more better view of, the, of it. Now it's ready, except for the fact that you will need have to uh, install somewhere to store the energy. So we are gonna do this very quickly. But uh, plunk in a uh, block that uh, one above. Stand right in the corner here and look up. Place the high voltage transformer straight on. You can use high voltage cable, but when I was playing right now, I couldn't get uh, quite get it to stick. I couldn't place it on there basically, uh, so I decided to place the high voltage transformer on there as well. Uh, just directly, it works just as good. Now, lead the um, lead the glass fiber cable out of there and place the MFSU on top. You can leave this up to your house, whatever. If you want to have this underground. But you will have to place some kind of light source, such, uh, such as a jack o' lantern or a, a glowstone block uh, above, so it gets full, uh, full of it, like this one. This sun has to be full for it to give maximum ice. Now this is quite full, and uh, it's filled up quite good. So you start it up. Now you want to lower this down to the max, uh, the lowest setting. So now you see it pumps out half a stack all the time. And now this will fill up. Now that it will be sending back, so it won't pull out more if it's full, which is great. Now you want to put this up to 500 now. That means we've started it. Here you go. As you can see, all of these are now ticking down. And these ones are uh, are used up, but and the uh, is new. The new one comes in. So it's self-sustainable from now on. It will not fail you. I promise. I've run. I've had these setups going for a long time. If you run a late. Uh, 
uh, or an old version of Sega. This might not be the optimum uh, optimum setup because uranium was very very expensive back then. I'm not sure how rare it was, but you had you'd have to collect it basically because, or you don't you wouldn't have it to, but it would be very very expensive. In this update, uranium is only um, is you get two per per diamond. In the last update, you would get six diamonds per uranium, so that's kind of a big difference. But as you can see, it's producing power, and it will not go up to 500 feet ever. As you can see, it producing 2,048 EU per tick on an average. That is what it's supposed to uh, produce. That is four times as much as this one outputs. And as you can see, it is already uh, like half full, or not half full, but uh, a quarter full. Now this is a good, really good power, basically. And the thing I was talking about with the mass fabricator is because if you place the mass fabricator on here, it will output 512 EU. This is kind of um, this is kind of set up to you send out packages of um, of 512 EU per tick. The thing is with the glass fiber cable, it can only uh, hold 512. It would not be able to hold it directly from the uh, reactor chamber. This is what happens if you do that. That's not good if you remove this one and place a glass fiber cable here but if you so it, this kind of uh, it works the way that if you have uh, multiple high voltage solar arrays th those output 512 if you have two of those you would expect it to be 1024 uh, EU that's going through it is but the thing doesn't uh, it doesn't explode because it's coming from different sources and this kind of splits up the sources so it's still it's still the same amount of power but it's it's like in different packages as you can call it and this can send up this it sends up to this and it kind of and it would only be output if it, it outputs max which is 512 it, it would receive power like it would output one fourth of that it gets in so it would only uh, output it would fill up and if you had a master get here and this kind of is, this is very confusing but you'll get it eventually if you place a master get here Oh, oh damn it! That was that was noisy. I ran out of redstone to use. Uh, but this takes twenty two thousand forty eight. I don't care about the packaging. This can output five hundred twelve. So if you place the the no power loss is done, it is only less efficient. So this one, uh, the mass fabric will stick on here, and it will only be able to receive five hundred twelve EU per tick from this one. Whilst if it was connected directly to this one. You, you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to like save the power but you would be able to have 2048 which is four times as fast uh, EU product uh, matter production production so that's basically it thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video and if you want to see some other tech tutorials I'm I'm pretty good at tech I have to admit so if you if you want a tutorial on something I, I can probably show you and uh, yeah bye